2 million solar systems over 10 years old and we actually go on there and had a look at some of them. Mm. It's not pretty. It's not no. pretty out there on Australian roost. The UV, the sun. I think the messaging there is like driving without you getting your car maintained for, for 10 years. That's literally what it is. My mother-in-law did that. <laughs> so we found some that had um, uh, made a lot of money, theoretically, $30,000 income per year uh, in an institution, but unfortunately had been turned off by a, a maintenance that's crew a great video for four years. Yeah, they lost $120,000. Um, uh, another see, see, system. If, that, if this is your bank account, you open it and it's minus. People were like panicking, right? Well, they wasted $120,000 on that system. Um, another one, there was a hailstorm in 2015. Mm. Nobody's ever been on the roof to see what that hailstorm did to the system. Mm. Um, so that, that was an interesting thing. A lot of people, maybe schools, they got solar under their grant. When you get things for free, you don't care for I it. I wonder if there is any product or services out there that is mandatory for a service, like a checkup. Do you know what I'm talking about? Like your car, you don't have to mandatory service, even though your dealers would say, hey, you should come in. Well, I'm sure with planes. Oh yeah, that's safety, right? I think you'd have to, <laughs> this must be a maintenance regime, but I think with batteries, for example. It has to be. With it batteries, be. I think in the future, there should be something like yeah, that. Yeah, so government mandatory um, check. Well, let's just look at our fire system. Yeah, well, that's mandatory. It has to be checked. Yeah, here. so we we're talking about live electricity. I know, but then people in Australia like their freedoms and Big Brother telling There's us. No freedom. I mean, we, we have to, every six months, we've got to get our fire extinguisher checked. You know? Yeah. So why can't that be checked? Yeah, I know, but then on the same time, we want to probably ask for smaller governments, less bureaucrats to keep the costs down. It's a difficult one. I think if you look at it from a energy, I mean, money savings perspective, that people will change their mind, just like you pointing out the council. Oh, look, I think if you have a solar system, anything over 10 kilowatts, you save enough, especially with a battery, that really every two or three years you should have a check. Yeah, unless you're anal like me, checking if the solar is producing. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> every, every day is on the up. I mean, it's a bit possibly like maybe the good example is dentist. You don't go and have maintenance on your teeth. It's only when you're... One time when you go, it's going to be really, really bad. Yeah, that's true. But if you go occasionally and just have it checked up, uh, then because I, I, I now have reasonable good teeth hygiene. I mean, people have to know that, you know, that's really vital yeah. for this podcast. But um, in my teenage years, when I came to Australia, I was very tight on the money. I didn't have much. And then sometimes I lie there in the dentist chair and it really bloody starts hurting and it's going to be really expensive. And at that point in time, I say to myself all the time, why didn't you just go early? Why didn't you just go early? And I feel like that should be- Well, it's maybe the same with doctor checkup too, right? Annual checkup kind of thing to see your blood test, to see how, you know, everything's working in order. Or did you catch any additional diseases? At the last holiday in whatever. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, coming back to it. So I would suggest that, you know, a solar and battery system, a car, um, just occasionally have a check. I think it could long-term save you money. I think the right messaging is monitoring. Mm. Yeah. Now there is a plug I would like to give. Sure. There is a company that does that. A, if you've got a solar and battery system, any of the guys on our website can actually do after sales. They're probably not that interested right now because of the batteries. Everybody wants to install batteries. But there's also a company that specializes in it called Solar Service Guys. Yes. They operate most around Australia. Done a lot of great projects with them. We've it's done some the, videos, yeah. Almost every system we went to inspect has an issue. <laughs> hey, what do you mean always? Oh, sorry, all of every, them. <laughs> every, we've gone now on maybe eight systems with them yeah. and we didn't pick them. Yeah. We, we didn't pick them because we knew something was wrong. We just had access. Somebody said, oh, you got solar, let me check it out. Dead. Um, half only working. Yep. Um, water in the isolator. Yep. Um, oh, I like, I like the one where the pigeons all came out of the switchboard area. Yeah, so um, lichen. Like, oh, lichen. lichen, lichen, my favorite lichen on the panels. You hardly can see anything that's, through anymore. That's some kind of virus on your <laughs> panel, bacteria growing. So there's a lot of things that can happen. If you have a solar system, if it's over six, seven years old, 
just, you know, you didn't know what's happening up there. Clamps that got missing. So actually the panels start getting loose. That's dangerous. That's eh? the dangerous element. So we recommend, you know, have it checked overall. But also what really some of the solar sales guys have lied in the past. You do have a 25-year warranty. But the technology has changed so much mm. that if you have a 220-watt panels now and there's like a 500-watt available from ACO, for your same size roof, you can suddenly get a big double See, size then, system. Then how do you argue against people who go, oh, I just buy the cheaper system because in the next five years, things change? Um, yeah, that's a fair point. But you remember when the 100 meter runners got to about 9.9 .9 seconds mm -hmm. and people, but it used to be 12. Are you saying we're 11. peaking now? We are getting to the current technology. I believe we're getting moved into 25% efficiency. When I started 2007 or so, I think it was around the 14, 15% efficiency. What that means to explain is the amount of energy that hits the square meter, 15% we get back out of it again, turning electricity. So the rest of it is just vaporizing here and there. So now we're getting to 25. I think the current technology is 26, 27 is where yeah, the limit until is. Until they right? find a new material. Well, new this and new that. Yeah. But who knows? I mean, this current technology, the benefit is it's been produced in so many millions of and large it's proven, capacity. It's proven, it's yeah. proven that really to re-school, retool all everything on that current price point, it is already bloody cheap. Yeah, you know? fair enough. So, so, so just, just to make, make, make this one point. So I think if you would nowadays buy you will not see going from a 175 watt panel to a 500 watt panel. You're not going to go to a thousand watt panel on that footprint anymore. We have really reached pretty well. The maybe limit of that 550, silicon, yeah. 580. Yeah. So we're not seeing these changes anymore. Please support the channel by liking the video, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell and check out all our other videos. Want more Energy Answered? Visit yourenergyanswers.com for quality energy products tools and calculators and find your quality local installers. You're still here? I'll see you next time. Bye.